All right, so starting with the beginning game, uh, I usually have a good amount of strategies, probably around like four to five strategies. And I'll tell you right now, a lot of them are very similar. It's just a matter of, you know, a vehicle isn't involved or a vehicle's not involved. And the reason why is just because vehicles are so overpowered and just help you so much. All right, so <clears throat> forget that. Whenever we're loading in, you forget usually that. whenever we're loading in, you usually can't hear me. Can't hear me, but I can hear myself. <laughs> but I can hear myself. <laughs> Get yourself sorted. We'll be deployed shortly. Um. Um. I think I can hear your I gameplay and your TV. Your gameplay and your TV. All right, now I can't hear it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I can't hear it at all now. All right, uh, but you can still hear me, right? Uh, yes, I can still hear you. Okay, it's perfect. Actually, it's actually harder to hear you than not. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'll try to be as loud as possible. All right. Um, oh, that's good. I think it was my headset that was being Oh, okay, cool. So, with the beginning game, uh, it's really simple. You want to be the person to get your loadout as fast as possible. You have your weapons, therefore a lot of your gunfights are just going to be way easy. Just super easy. The first strategy... Yeah, the first strategy that a lot of players do right now is they look for a scavenger, they just fly to it, and they do it. Um, honestly, I just picked that scavenger right there, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Is we're going to get to that scavenger. So that's the first uh, strategy. The next strategy that we could do in the future is predicting where the final circle ends. So this final circle is probably going to end somewhere around downtown, TV station, somewhere around here. So we could literally land where the circle ends, grab our loot, get our loadout, and then rotate around the circle. So that was a second strategy that we could do. And like I said, this first strategy of going for the scavenger, a lot of people do this. So sometimes it's kind of a matter of a race and seeing if you can be the player to kill someone. But we got it, so we're good. gonna see if any of these guys landed out in the field I'm pretty sure they're flying still yeah they're good all right so we're just gonna try to do our scavenger as fast as possible and sure enough there's a vehicle right over to our right like I said don't be afraid of vehicles because they let you get to places faster okay you know what? I'll take that back you should be afraid of like quads because quads aren't the best and I'm pretty sure I saw someone on that rooftop over there so hop out oh shoot I got them both. All right, cool. Yeah, no, thank you for breaking that first guy. If you didn't break that first guy, I probably was dead right there. Um, by the way, literally, <laughs> I just jumped in every single gunfight right there, and I survived. Most broken thing you can do is just jump in every single gunfight, add in some strafes. I'm sure you know this, though, because you play multiplayer. Yeah. You can continue looting that out. Alright, and there we go. We have enough for our loadout. So I'll come right back over to you. I got a and, then. Oh, perfect. And you can drop me your cash. And sure enough, just like that, we're getting our loadout. That, we're getting our loadout. 
and we're ready to get pretty much the easiest amount of kills in our lives. Do you know about this feature, by the way, where you can uh, loot your loadout from the bottom floor? Oh, no, I do not know about that. Oh, yeah, no, so uh, it's just a good way to be safe. Um, all you want to do is just hop on, a, like, a table or something, look up, and uh, you can get your loot, loadout. And this is always a, just a great thing to do just to play safe. All right. But we want to push forward and continue. We're going to hop over to this vehicle. And this is where the beginning game is very easy. And you can just start driving up to players and just getting the kills. Like, I see a player up there. And I'm just going to go... Oh, wait. There's a guy inside this window to our left. I down that guy. I got them both. I'll sleep when I'm dead. All right, cool. And right there, I'll tell you right now, I got those kills simply just because I have better weapons. That was like the easiest amount of kills I've ever got. Um, but now we just push on, and we have a vehicle right now with hop out, hop out, hop out. I'm gonna come over here and buy a UAV. In this beginning game, by the way, you always want to grab bounty yeah, contracts. Okay, perfect. I'm coming to get you. Bummer. All right, those guys are a little bit far, and the, I'm pretty sure they were the ones who shot us with the rocket launcher. So yeah. we need to look for a new vehicle, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to go back and grab that ATV. But this is a great opportunity to start talking about what we need to be doing. Uh, we have three minutes until the middle game starts. And we just want to constantly grab bounty contracts and pop UAVs and just go for those kills. Every single kill should be easy and that's where you can be aggressive. Um, but once the middle game starts then that's where I'll, that's where I'll start telling you what we need to do. Um, but ideally, the middle game is where everyone gets their loadout, and you just need to start playing safe. Alright, so there's actually a player, um, over there on that yellow flare. So because there was players on that yellow flare, we're gonna stop up at this building. And there's the ATV driving. So I'm actually going to pop a UAV and we're going to look for a kill to go for. Looking right now, there's two people at Firehouse and there's two people at PD. These guys over here will probably be the easier kills. Those guys on Firehouse, they could just stay at high ground the entire time. While these guys up here at uh, PD should be easy kills. And there's three people, so this is a great opportunity to... Um, Hop in, hop in. On the bottom floor, right? Got him. Alright, so we're looking for two people up there. This is where we're gonna wanna... Oh. Good win. I was not expecting that guy to be so aggressive right there. Uh, but we should have one more guy above us. Yep. When we go up the stairs, he's going to be in the left room. I saw that with my heartbeat. Uh, he must be on the roof. Yeah, he must be on the roof. I got a cluster. I can cluster uh, on us. Yeah, yeah, you should cluster that. An enemy team is hunting you. Stay alert. Either jump off or come back. Yep, he, he jumped off. I got him. Good job. And not only that, but he has a bag. Uh, we just gotta make sure we don't die to our cluster. And the middle game's actually about to start in 30 minutes, so this is where we're gonna probably wanna invest into self-revives instead of UAVs, but... You know, we, we, may, we may still have more time uh, to pop a UAV. Actually, yeah, let's do that. 
Yeah, yeah. So buy buy a UAV, and uh, we're gonna head over to our uh, our next loadout. Uh, the, the buy station was right here. I'll just grab that put it on the ground quick. Oh, okay. No problem. You said buy UAV. Yeah, yep. And once we get close to our loadout, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to happen, right? So there's two loadouts that just uh, landed right now, and um. I'm not- oh, there's three. Okay, perfect. So we have ours and we have two more there. I don't necessarily like camping, so we're just gonna start pushing. And when you can, pop your UAV now. Yep, sure enough, there they are. And we're actually out in a horrible place. Because we got people behind us, so we just gotta push up and kill these guys in front of us. Yeah, dang it. Alright. <clears throat> I played that horribly, and the reason why I played that poorly was because we didn't have a vehicle. If we had a vehicle, we would have not have stressed that much right there. Yeah. No, good shot, good shot. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so I should have 100% had my vehicle right there. We get to our loadout. Or, no, we wouldn't even get to our loadout. We would have pushed those guys in front of us and got that kill. Just really unfortunate that there was a guy behind us as well. And if you can, stay in the air and see if you can start pinging the enemy for me. Because there should be players on me right now. Um. Got a guy right there. I'm awesome, thank you so much. We should make for the safe zone. He just landed. That one, that I marked. one guy down. I did see some bulls being fired, but I'm not sure. I don't see any. There we go. What the fuck? Right, I killed two. You can land on your loadout right now. You can do it. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much for being in the air right there. You really helped me out, and uh, we're able to get those kills. And now, not only that, we can get a uh, ghost right here. All right, so uh, like I said, now we're in the middle game, and this is where we need to start being a lot more strategic, just because every single player on the... Alright, we're just going to travel to the left and uh, grab this car over here. Nice, good job on that crack right there. Uh, they're running away. Alright, I'll pick you up right now yeah, in this vehicle. Running. Are you able to shoot out of the vehicle? Like, are you confident with your aim? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay, they're going to be right around this wall right here. There they are. Oh shit. Oh my god, I messed up so bad right there. Yeah, so when we started driving up, I was like, oh, okay, they're probably gonna throw a grenade at us. And uh, I tried to get inside, but I hit the damn wall. <laughs> Ugh, it's so annoying. Should we uh, hit and play again then? Uh, actually, um, yeah, you could definitely hit play again.
Oh, there he is. Alright, so a really good rule um, that I always try to say is whenever you die, the first thing you need to start thinking about is what did I do wrong? What could I have done better? Right there, I was driving that vehicle. I had my plan. My plan was that we were going to drive past them and we're going to just start shooting them while driving. The second I saw that they were actually being aggressive back, because I thought they are going to keep running away, right? But the second that I saw that they were just staring right at us, ready to kill us, I thought, oh crap, they're going to throw a grenade. So I knew I had to just get out of that vehicle, cut left, and unfortunately, I hit the dang wall. So those are a few things I could have fixed right there. Is the first one, don't drive straight into the wall. Like, damn, come on now. The second thing is, the second I saw him, I should have just potentially just hopped out of the vehicle and ran behind cover. Um, yeah. But, you know, also not only that, but I think I found a trophy system earlier, and you should always, always, always throw a trophy system onto a vehicle. Okay. It's almost always better to have a trophy system on you than dead silence. Alright, so let's actually do one of the strategies, and that strategy is... Actually, dang it. So, I wanted us to land at the final circle, which was going to be around lumber. Um, that's one strategy, but we're going to instead go for this helicopter over here. So at 700 meters, jump out. And then we're just going to try to grab this helicopter. This is the third strategy, and that's winning a helicopter race. And pretty much at 700 meters, you hop out of the plane, aim for it, pull your chute at 30, land on top, get into the heli. And the best part is you can usually uh, get free kills if you look on the rooftops. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Um... My bad. I guess I I guess my blades hit something that made us blow up. My bad. I think there's like a little was like an AC unit or something. But... Yeah, I'm assuming my blades hit the AC unit and we blew up right there. All right, but even though that was okay, hold on, you're playing. Okay. He's bottom wood pushing behind you. He's behind you right now. Oh. Yeah, so unfortunately that was very cringe and I screwed that us screw that up for us. That's usually what you do is you um you um Yeah, ideally that's how the strategy works, is you steal the helicopter, you just squish a bunch of people, and then you look for a scavenger. So I got the helicopter like I wanted to. Uh, we should have had this. That's my bad that we didn't. And then ideally, I just look for a scavenger that no one went for, and I start doing it. Make sure the rooftops are cleared. They look pretty clear.
objective identified. All right, like I said, trophy system over that dead silence. Make sure I'm good behind me, no one's sniping me. Rooftop looks good. I'm just heading back over to my helicopter just to make sure I have it near me. Um, you always want to definitely try to keep those vehicles near you because they are your exits. Um, I was actually having a coaching session the other day with a student, and he was telling me that the way his teammates would always try to get to the buy station is they'll give all their money to one player, and that one player sneaks up. I might actually get pushed right here, and that's a probably play defense. Yeah. Dang it! I couldn't get that glass broke. Yeah, no, he uh, he played that pretty well. He uh, flew right into the window and uh, just got the up on upper hand on me. Well played by them. You could hit. Uh, go ahead and hit play again. That was a very poor gameplay by me right there. Yeah, we all have them. Thank you, we do. Thank you for being understanding. Understanding. <laughs> that was also pretty difficult. They had you at the stairs and the window. That was pretty. That was yeah. pretty smart. Yeah. No. Uh, that stair. So a lot. I was expecting both of them to like come up the stairs. I was gonna get one down, hop out the window, be safe. But that last guy, yeah, no, he, guy, I don't know if he did it on purpose or by accident, but he jumped off the building, landed in the window, and uh, got the kill on me. So, definitely well played by them. Uh, the safest thing I could have done right there is, honestly, I had to play it. And the reason why is because I didn't have any cover around me that I could back up to, and I didn't have a vehicle either. So yeah, that was the third strategy, is where we pretty much just grab a helicopter, look for a scavenger that wasn't picked up, do it, and you're done. Picked up, do it, and you're done. I really, it's one of my favorite strategies to do, especially in duos, squads, and trios. Um, but now the last strategy that we can do is pretty much land hot. And what landing hot is, is you're just landing where a majority of players are, and you're trying to be the last one alive. Um, usually if you're the last one alive, you have enough cash, and you're able to buy a loadout. You could also play safe. There's a few places that are currently safe right now, and that is usually airport, bank in downtown, and TV station. It won't be TV station right now, because, you know, obviously we're right over it, but instead we're gonna go over to airport. And there's people going for those helicopters, so I'm not going to stress about it too much, and I'm instead going to go for the scavenger. Not only that, but I don't want to crash the helicopter again. <laughs> Alright, so there are multiple people that landed here. I did grab one of the scavengers though, so that's good. And we're expecting to be at least maybe two or three teams around us. Yeah, uh, a majority of those players landed like right here at the uh, 
at the parking garage. It's looking like we may not have enough cash, which might suck. We'll see on this last box, though. Oh, no, we got enough. Awesome. All right, now we just need to hit a buy station. I would prefer us go over there because there's also a uh, vehicle. And ideally, what I'm hoping for is we're going to make it to the end game. Or, sorry, uh, we're going to make it towards more of the middle game. And we're going to focus a lot more on that and what strategies we can do. Um, like I said, that main middle strategy that I talked about is playing offense, defense neutral. Which we are going to more than likely run into a team and do that today. I'll drop you cash. And uh, you can pop it inside this building. And we can uh, loot it from inside. I saw the place right here for you. It's really cool. Oh well, I just took <laughs> took that by accident. Whoops. All right, now my only problem is people on top of the roof. I think there might be a guy close on us. I'm gonna heartbeat. Yep, there's a guy on the bottom floor. We got a vehicle. I got the first guy. Man. Oh. He I got the second guy. You can get to me. Alright, right there. Um, those guys had the upper hand on us, and they kind of choked it right there. I'm not sure how. Um, but right there, I didn't panic at all. I just started focusing on my movement, only my movement to get behind cover. Got behind cover, and then I just sat there and I said, Alright, where were they? I looked at where I was getting shot from, said they're right there, and... Uh, we were safe. Behind that van. Oh, there's people actually up here on this buy station getting their loadout right now. The first guy. Right there. Yep, he dipped. I knew it. He's in that little left hallway. Welcome to the Gulag. If you survive, you earn your freedom. While you wait, feel free to give your way to the proper cheering. And if you find something you like, feel free to give them that as well. Yeah, so on that initial gunfight, that was my bad. I thought the dude was just camping behind a corner, and uh, he wasn't. 
Yeah, he was sitting in that stairwell. I got a couple shots on him. Yeah, no, it's... Some dude redeployed. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to be smart enough to back up, and I didn't think he had the... Honest... Honestly, I didn't think he had the balls to run back inside that little place, but uh, he did, and he sure outplayed me, so... All right, this is fine behind the car All right, this is actually fine because uh, the action. Oh wait, they just popped the UAV. Hold on. Actually, no, they popped the UAV. There's no way they're gonna chase me. Um. All right. So yeah, now that the gameplay is actually slowed down a little bit, I can finally talk a little bit more. Um. Again, you always want to try to bring up your big map as much as possible. Right here, I see that the final circle is gonna end somewhere around Summit. And this is where you can start using your mid-game strategies. The first strategy uh, to the mid-game is, like I said, where if you saw an enemy inside this building, you would want to grab control of this building. And the re- oh shit. Where did we actually kill those other guys over here? Oh, these guys' guns disappeared. Great. All right, so uh, the first strategy is really simply of... All right, there's the enemy there. Just grab a home base. That home base could be this building, this building, this building. Once you have that home base, you're peeking from every window. You're peeking from a different window every single time. And your goal is to try to break their plates or get it down. The second you get a full blue cracked, or you break their plates, or you get it down, that's your go-to. That's where you just hop in your vehicle and get there. Or, you know, you get there by foot. When you get there by foot, yeah. buildings are different. Like, this building right here, it's just two staircases to the roof, and that's that simple. Um, but ideally, mm -hmm. you need to know that enemies play on the top story, so you need to go in there with a game plan. And that game plan usually is... All right, where are they? How do you find? How do you figure where they are? You use your heartbeat sensor, a UAV, or you pay attention to audio. That's how you figure out where they are. Part two is what do you have to destroy them? How, what do you have to kill them? Do you have a grenade? Awesome, throw those grenades, throw those stuns, run up there, get those kills. If you don't have that, you're gonna have to look for hop-up spots. If you don't have a hop-up spot, you're gonna also look for, hold on. I wanted to, dang it. Hop-up spots. So there's a lot of buildings around here with hop-up spots. Like there's a building right here where you can hop up, parkour, get to the second story, and you will catch people off guard. It just happens. Um, and last but not least, if you don't have grenades, you don't have a hop-up spot, but you absolutely need to kill that player, use process of elimination. Hold on. Use process of elimination. And now what do I mean by that is, let's say there's an enemy inside this room, right? How do I use process of elimination? Oh, I just look at the corners to make sure he's not a camper. So I would shoulder peek, nothing in that corner. Shoulder peek, nothing in that corner. And there's boxes right there, so I know that I have cover, but he could still be there. I need to check to my left. How do I check to my left? I can either slide cancel or I can bunny hop. Now, the last place I have to check is right there, and you can usually just get the upper hand um, by doing whatever you want, you know? And that's as simple as it is for playing offense. And I'll tell you right now, every single time, you should and you can slide cancel everywhere. Okay, hold up. Uh, top 
the uh there the uh there we go. Alright. Um so yeah, that's how you use process of elimination, and that's how easy offense is. Now defense. I'll tell you right now, defense, the number one rule is try to get to high ground. And start always playing doorways and windows doorways and windows doorways and windows this goes back to playing uh you know clockwise and counterclockwise just because there's doorways and windows on the walls mm -hmm. and when you're playing defense it's shot me to my left i'm good i'm gone shot me to my right i'm good i'm gone i'm safe So that was that very basic one that I talked about. Another one we can do is called fishing the circle. And fishing the circle is something that I did to, you know, build up my KD as much as possible, as quickly as possible. And all that is, mm -hmm. is you just hop in a vehicle and you drive left or right up the gas. And that's it. And you just keep doing that all game because you will find people just stuck in the gas you will find people rotating early and you will get kills literally it's gonna be a little boring because it you know really requires you driving back and forth a bunch but i can promise you that you will 100 percent get 10 kills if you just do that the entire game drive up and down the gas use a helicopter bertha whatever you want um next thing yeah next thing that you can hold on I think these guys are going to try to kill me right now. No, okay, cool. Um, next thing that you can do is... Hold on, I think they are. Gas Safe zone relocated. All right, no, they're not. All right, so that's the second one you can do. It's just going up and down the gas, up and down the gas. Now, the third thing you can do is where you're going to want to use, like, your RAM and you're going to want to use your car. And that's where you start using choke points. And that's where you drive around in your car, you look for a team, oh, there's a team right there, and you just get to a choke point. And when you sit at that choke point, they're gonna run toward you because of the gas, and you just get those kills. So, one way you can set up for that right now is, okay guys, I wanna hold the choke point, hop in a vehicle, stop right here, you're guaranteed to find maybe two or three teams running towards you, you get those kills. And then you do it again. All right, guys, I want to get to high ground to hold another choke point. Boom, fire station right there. See, there's even a car in there that just landed right now, and that just tells you that there's a team in there doing that right now. So that's everything you can do with the middle game. And at the end game, this is where I said it's almost always 50-50, where it's just what do you want to do? Do you want to go for kills still? Which you can just use any of the uh, mid-game uh, strategies I told you, or you can. Um. Uh, I'm actually probably dead here. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just really happy that I at least got, I got to tell you everything that has to do with the middle game, beginning game, and like I said, the end game, it's if you want to go for kills, keep doing the exact same thing. If you want to go for the win, mm -hmm. it's a matter of just looking at the big map, staring at it for a good 20-30 seconds, and saying, alright, there's 14 teams left, there's 4 buildings, there's 4 teams in those buildings, I'm here, where are the other 9 teams? Those other 9 teams might be here and here. And then you just sit there and you let it play out. You let it play out and you just think about, all right, where might this final circle end? I need to get to this building or I need to get to this mountain or I need to get here. And it just requires a lot of just staring at your big map and thinking. Uh, you can 100% start it up again right now. And ideally, I'm just going to start focusing on trying to get you a win. Right now.
I'm actually curious, uh, do you know what your Warzone KD is? Uh, I think it's a point eight something. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you right now, um, with these strategies I've, ga uh, I've given you, it's obviously you need to practice it until you're comfortable with it. Um, but ultimately, you know, you should be able to at least average maybe five kills a game. And... Once you're averaging 5 kills a game, you're going to have a 2.5 KD in the future. Alright, cool. So, there's a few strategies we can do here. And, uh, which one would you like to do? Um, I'm down to literally go to airport right away. Or actually, dang. Okay, so literally a thousand people just hopped out of the plane. Um, I think we're gonna land hot and just drop Superstore right now. Cause I see about four teams on this left side going towards the airport. And then over here, hopefully we could find some weapons. Nice. And playing, uh, playing this right now is just playing it clockwise, counterclockwise. Never get caught out in the open, and always just stick to your sides. Like right here, this is a great time just to drop down below and look for these kills. There's two people in there. No way. Wait, he did not get stunned? Oh wow. Alright, never mind. Cool. Huh. Fight to earn redeployment. Listen up, soldier. Win here and you return to the front line. So there's a guy down there with a shotgun. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. And he did not get stunned, unfortunately, but I'm landing back with you and we'll just pick up right off right now. Okay, what is it? Yeah, and there's definitely still there. I'm holding this side. Where's the other guy? Gotta do Run out of ammo, I gotta see if I can get this res off. We can just back off. We don't need to fight this anymore. Actually, hold on. If he's not going back to his teammate, yeah, he's not. Contact, contact. Just fly in here real quick.
Oh, okay, that's where they were getting shot from. They're getting shot from the other side. Another guy. And these guys with this cluster strike, they're probably going to try to push up on us. shotgun that they had. Yeah, no, that thing destroyed me. I went around the corner and I was go I was just gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Looking over you. I'm trying to hold my right side push and your front right now. Yeah. I think those are the guys that have the bounty on me. Yeah, it should be. I'm just I'm watching your I'm watching your uh, left doorway right now and you can just focus on your front door. I hear him coming. Yep, I got the first guy down. I got him both. Gosh, I can't see you. Let's go. Oh my gosh, these guys had loadouts. Wow. Yeah. Well, at least the one guy I killed had a loadout. Yeah, he has a loadout too. Cool. All right, actually, with this, we don't need to get our loadout. I'm comfortable with not getting it, so we can just pretty much get the game going right now. gonna fly over here to this vehicle we're gonna buy a UAV uh, probably one of us should definitely get self revive and uh, it's gonna be free hunting for us okay. yeah I got the uh, four I got the M4 and then the uh, MP5 dude I don't know how they I wonder where they went to get their loadout like that it's insane I dropped you cash for uh, yeah, Silver uh, Live. Yeah, whenever you were uh, the um, log, I heard. Enemy UAV overhead. He actually dropped me cash for a Silver Live as well, and then we're, we're gonna get going. You can also pick up that precision. I have a cluster, so is it your cluster doesn't matter. Uh, I'd, I'd say grab the precision. Um, I'm gonna pop the UAV, and uh, we're gonna get going. So I actually pulled it. You're gonna drive over here, because these guys to our right, they're in those one-story buildings, and these are free kills. So you definitely want to drive up to my orange marker over here. Or yeah, yeah, okay, we can we can kill these guys. Yeah, this is fine. This guy on top of my roof, and the other guys in the second story. Gotta go over there. We're gonna look for this guy to pee. Got the first guy on top weak. Going front. Enemy UAV over Trying to get this guy to drop on me right now. He's cracked on top. Nice. And this is, we're doing great neutral play, by the way. These guys are gonna have like no more plates, and I'm I'm hoping you can see how like how effective this is right now. Yeah, we're baiting them out. And they're just not gonna have it. Yeah, yeah. So that cluster came from airport. So what we're gonna yeah, he's cracked. Yeah, the other guy's still weak. <laughs> Oh wait, you have that precision, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, precision, uh, precision that roof right there. 
And then the, this guy is gonna get scared and he's gonna hop off of uh Did you Okay there we go, nice. Yep. Guy's still cracked up there. Oh my gosh. I think there's guys with ghosts on us. I heard like sliding. Hmm. Yep, ghosts right in front of me, right here. One shot, half health. And to my right, and to your left. Oh, dude, I got a bunch. Yeah, bummer. I was expecting a dumpster not coming out like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, that I'm actually really happy that happened. Uh, because there's a lot of good things and a lot of bad things that happened right there. Um, the good things that happened. We played that neutral playstyle perfectly. We focused on getting them weak and cracking them. However, we failed at pushing up and playing offense to get a kill. So it was kind of a stalemate the entire time. <clears throat> you don't want stalemates. So right there, what we should have done is we should have just said, all right, screw it. We're just going to try to climb up. If we die, we die. Or we just flat out leave. Because if we sit there for so long, we just missed out on 40 kills of the lobby. Because there's only 60, 66 people left. And we sat there the entire time and we just, we barely have one kill. You got this. Oh, damn. And right there, I'd probably recommend... And right there, uh, behind that car, I'd highly recommend trying to land those slide cancels behind that car. Um, just to get that peeker's advantage and get that kill. Not only that, but when you're slide canceling left, slide canceling right, you're still getting all the information very quickly. So you never, so you're not gonna get caught off guard, basically. All right, uh, you can go ahead and load it up again. And uh, during the warm up, I'm gonna be talking about what happened in that gunfight and uh, why it was, you know, still good and still bad. Yeah, I think I didn't realize that uh, you were gaining health in the gulag because I kept thinking I was like, okay, well, I got a couple shots on him, so he's like one shot. Yeah, and you know, I, I hate saying this because I used to I, I played Warzone the longest. You know, I've played ever since it dropped, but I can't remember <laughs> if uh, you didn't get health regen in the gulag back then. I feel yeah. like you didn't. Um, yeah, but that's I, what I thought too because. I remember, you know, playing gunfight and everything. You don't regain health from that, so yeah, I just yeah. kind of figured. Oh yeah, that's a that's a fair assumption, but no, uh, definitely you uh, regen health. Yeah, that's good to know on my. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so if you can, could you pull up your big map and look over Superstore? So, initially, when we first popped the UAV, I wanted to go for these kills over here because they were stuck inside of a building and they were next to a buy station, which told me two things. One, they're still looting. Two, they don't have their loadout. And I wanted to go for those kills. These guys over here, it showed that they were on high ground, and it wasn't bad that we went to go fight them, 
but at the same time, I'm pretty sure they had their loadout. Um, and that's why I didn't really want to fight them, because they were on high ground, compared to this team over here, which will just be an easier kill. But we still decided to go for this kill, which, again, no problem at all. It is not wrong. Um, it's just a matter of what what's better for you in the future. Um, so when we went for that kill, like I said, our neutral playstyle was perfect, but we played too long, and we eventually died. Um, next time, we should 100% either just go full in, try to get the kill, if we die, all well, or we just need to leave. We just absolutely need to leave, and that's where I failed to call that out, is, hey, we need to leave. Um, yeah. So yeah, no problem, though. All right. Yeah, I think, I think with people, I didn't realize the jeep could drive over those bears and so find a way out. But oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna try to get this helicopter. Um, I think I may have lost it though. I'm, I'm a little slow. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did lose it. Where'd you land? Because all we need to do... Oh my gosh, why did I just zip up this? As soon as I saw some dude land, the helicopter was actually on top of the roof, and someone already had a gun, so... Oh, okay, yeah, so I think uh, right there, um, it's just a matter of building that experience. And understanding that if you lose the helicopter, you should just go for a straight shot to the bottom floor. Because no one lands on the bottom floor, and it gives you an opportunity to get as many uh, weapons, ammo, and plates that you need. I'm actually, um, so right now we're actually uh, close to having our session end. So I'm down to back out right now and load up a new game, just so we have a fresh start. Because we uh, we really only have time for one more game, and I want it to be a good game. It's interesting, too, because, uh, well, it might just be because I'm in the lobby, but are you used to playing people, like, with this kind of skill level in the sense of, you know, rose skins everywhere, slide canceling, bunny hopping everywhere, and just being obnoxious? Uh, no, I definitely notice it. I notice it more difficult and strategic than, uh, the lobby that I'm in, usually. Okay, cool, yeah, so... It's just because of skill-based okay. matchmaking, and I'm in your lobby, so... Once yeah. once you're in... Yeah, you don't get better playing people worse than you, so... No, yeah, facts, facts. And it's really... It's it's kind of a unique experience, you know? Uh, you're literally running into well, people doing everything that I'm teaching you right now. And it's like, how do you, how do you catch up to that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wanna try to... Dang it, I'm not sure what to do because I really wanna go for this helicopter at TV. 
But at the same time, I feel like we should just play safe and uh, go for this. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go lumber. Yeah, I was, I was about to say maybe we could try the uh, first plot. So, alright, a good hundred people landed and they're about... Okay, I would say about 70 people are landing towards Superstore factory area and the other 40 are landing like TV um, and stadium. So, now knowing that information, um, if I was going for kills, I would obviously probably land at Lumber, rotate up through stadium over here, and then I would finalize my way over there at factory. Um, but if the lobby dies very fast, I'm gonna understand that the Gulag winners are probably gonna be landing more towards, like, Array and Military. So I want to say I do feel safe. I really didn't see anyone land around us. Um, but that doesn't mean that people aren't around us. And I actually got a free UAV, which is actually really excellent. So I'm just going to pop it just to see if anyone's around us. And, you know, like I like I predicted, no one was around us, and I kind of wasted a free UAV, but not a big deal. Safety over everything, I guess. But very quickly, just like that, we have enough for our loadout, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can grab that bounty next to you. And we can get our loadout. And this is usually what happens when you land safe. You're able just to get your loadout. The only problem is you're very far away from a majority of the lobby and it takes some time to travel. Yeah. Um, our bounty right now is five grand. So what I'd recommend is us buying a UAV and investing it to kill him. Because over there, there's a bunch of buildings, right? And uh, we're gonna go ahead, hop over to a vehicle, get close to them, and uh, start racking in the kills. So we know for a fact that there is a team there, and this means two things. One, we already got money from our bounty, but two, there's another team we can kill and uh, steal their money. So I'm expecting what happens after this is we're probably going to have maybe six grand each. Alright. Right about now, can you pop your UAV? know where they are and we're gonna go ahead and grab home base I'm gonna treat this building right in front of us as home base and this guy first guy's behind the car crap we see his teammate running out in the open teammates down Shot me through the truck. 
over on my side. All right. Well. Yeah. No. I. I. I wonder what weapon he had because you're saying he actually wall banged you, right? Yeah, I was standing right behind the truck and he. Banged me. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, um, here's a mask right here. And like I said, you know, I was hoping we were gonna have about six grand each. We're at about five grand each, which not bad. Good, good estimate. Um, but now what we can do is we can continue further. I'm probably gonna grab a bounty because we definitely want more money. It is those guys at Firehouse. Cool. Firehouse is a pretty unique uh, building to break. It is easy, um, but it just really requires you understanding where the enemies are using your audio. Because there's different rooms and it gets really tricky, but right now we're going to drive up and we're actually going to try to take this kill. I knew you said he jumped out, and I was literally running circles, and I couldn't find him. Yeah, I thought, thought I had him, but... Dang, my bad. I should have stayed close to you. My bad. I thought, uh... That's yeah, it's all good. I, yeah. I, I had the drop on him, and somehow it's gonna still choked, but... Hmm. And you know, I don't want to be that guy, but it could be because you're on a PlayStation 4. You know what I mean? <laughs> Probably. You win this fight and you return to the front line. If you lose, you're done here. You're up, soldier. You gave him a proper sword. Stand by well, that's fine. Oh. Your teammate got a proper sword in. Send him a mark. Team is KIA. It's up to you now. Dang it. Just trying to get the loadout to spawn. Wow, what a bad place. Yes, closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Oh, I just saw him, damn it. No, ah, dang it. I can't. I don't know what to do here. Ah, oh, the bounty is on the outside, dang it. There's people on me, it's not good. Alright, I'm gonna buy you back in and we're gonna try to get our load out.
we'll start dropping. Uh, we could, you could probably just land right on top of our loadout, honestly. I think we're safe. Requesting area recon. Did you just get sniped? Uh, yep. Oh my. Sniped out of the sky. Unbelievable. Yep. What are the chances? I'm not trying to ruin your KD on purpose, I promise. It's already garbage on. Second attempt. Honestly, it might be a really bad idea. No, from a different build. Oh, dead silence. So cringe. Ugh. Um. Let's see if I can grab some cash around here. Yeah, grabbing this bounty on your left uh, won't be bad, too bad of an idea. Uh, it should be on the... yep. Yeah. Right there. Uh, okay. It was in the bottom floor. Uh, it was on the bottom floor to your right. You could drop back down. Yep, it was in that room and then to your right. Yep. Alright, so the good thing is you could either cut this team off depending on where they're rotating is. Let's see where it respawns. All right, the, the the bounty actually spawned away from you, so you can just hit this box next to you, and then uh, you're probably gonna get to PD and uh, buy me back in if you're able to. Yeah, no cash. No, of course no. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Huge, nice, nice. Grab the cash and then run. Grab the cash and just run for PD. And while you're running right there, uh, you definitely uh, had time to plate up. It also looks like you have an armor box, so you can pop it just to be safe if you'd like. I think this place has been looted. And it looks like your bounty is just going to be camping up on that building the entire time. Yep, you see him. Oh, yes! I like that! That's 11 grand. Beautiful. I was to a buy station. Yep, uh, buy station, you could probably hit this one, or you can rotate uh, towards your right. The one to your left is the closest and probably the safest. Yeah. But at the same time, the gas, is, yeah, the gas is about to start coming in, so... Yeah, because because the gas is coming in, you should go to the one on your right. Yep, good play. And to get your maximized speed, uh, you definitely want to... When your gun goes down to both hands, like right here, you want to slide cancel. And then your gun goes back up in the air. So you hear shooting on top of airport, so it's gonna have to be a run for your life. Actually, I think you saw a dead silence to your left. Uh, can you go back down? And look to your right? Yeah, there's a dead silence right there. So you're gonna wanna pick that up, and you're gonna pop it to get to the buy station. Buy me back in. And when you buy me back in, all you have to do is just hit square and spam X as fast as possible, and then run away. Yeah, you look good. 
Dead silence. Square XX. XX. Oh, shoot, man. Come on now. What the heck? Nice, there you go. For some reason, I kept. I don't know what we're saying. We're saying some weird stuff. All good, all good. Never worth it. Alright. If you wasn't giving me some stupid message, I probably would have been able to get out of there. Yeah, so you just got like a weird message? Yeah, I don't know what we're saying. Like, I was trying to click so fast to just trying to get it to go. This is actually scary. <laughs>
and dude i have six teams already ideally planned out the last two is kind of just like all right now i need to start remembering where those guys might be and i did that all in 20 seconds and now this is giving me my see like i said there had to be a guy over here all i did was just look at my big uh mini map oh shoot Awesome. Okay, cool. I'm gonna buy you back in, and you're gonna land on that guy's body. over here. And we're probably going to need a vehicle to travel, which is uh, the only thing that sucks. Um, I, I actually have extra cash to get over here. I'm going to drop you money for a self-revive. Do you need ammo? Um, he had a good amount. Okay, cool. All right, so here we go. We got, you know, six different teams left. I bought a precision because we have to run uh, across this field. And this is where we might lose, but I believe in us. All right, there we go. We made it into the circle. We're safe. Good. All right, so again, I know for a fact there's one team over here. Definitely a team in here, too. Maybe a team over here, three, four. We're missing four other teams. We don't have ghosts, so they know we're here. We're five. Hostile. probably gonna have to get control of one of these buildings and the way we're gonna do this is wherever we start getting shot from I'm gonna precision strike the building and we're gonna try to get control of them right now if we can we just want people to kill each other I'm holding down this entire left side making sure we're good just gotta make sure our right is good Gas is coming in, and we're on the slower side, so we don't need to move immediately. We should make for the safe zone. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna have to start making a move. And there are people inside that building, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna streak it. Oh shit, right when I streaked it too, they looked at me. Yeah, you're good to keep pushing up right there. Good job closing the distance. And you can play outside. Yes, play exactly like this. Play exactly like this. Hug the wall though, hug the wall though, because the guy from the window can see you. Nice. Here's, here's gonna be the game plan, okay? You have a gas mask. You're gonna wait until the gas comes toward you. You're gonna be inside the gas, and then you're gonna throw stuns into the second story, and then run up the building, all right? So there's a window to your right side. So so here's what's gonna happen. So you have, the gas is gonna get to you. Not right there. Um, right in front of the building, there's a door right here, yeah. You're gonna throw the flashes up into that window, right there. Once you're inside the gas, though, and you have your gas mask on, though. Alright, still wait, still wait. Alright, throw your flashes now, and then you run up those stairs and get those kills. Both of them, both of them. 
All right, you can't fight. To your right. Oh, you got gas mask. Oh man, dude. That's so annoying that that just happened to you. Well, that was that was a good game, though. Yeah, no, that was absolutely a great game. I'm I'm really satisfied with us getting at least third place. Really sucks because I kept telling you there's a guy, there's a team in that building. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna uh, put the kill streak yet. And right when they peeked me, I popped the kill streak and I was dead. Really unfortunate. And then of course you died to the gas mask right there. Just man, ugh. Alright, but that does conclude our session. Um, I highly recommend 100% just, you know, going over this VOD when I upload it to YouTube and just digesting all that information again of, okay, here's the five strategies for a beginning game, here's the three strategies for middle game, and here's the two end game strategies. Um, okay. I'm hoping very easily you saw how easy it was for me to just say, alright, there has to be a team there, team there, team there. And it's just because yeah, yeah, that's how yeah that's just how people play the game. And uh, when you play more, you can start understanding. Oh, okay, so this is how people play, and it's gonna get to a point where you can start predicting where what corners people camp without even knowing they're there. Like I, I can tell you right now, um, a lot of the times in these buildings. Like, you could tell what corners they're going to be sitting in, where you could just flat-out wallbang them and make them think you're hacking. Um, <laughs> I've done it multiple times before, yeah. and uh, it's it's very satisfying. Um, another thing I would yeah. recommend, too, is, you know, if you can, try to focus a little bit more on those slide cancels and bunny hops. Uh, mechanics are a huge part of the game. And, oh, that's actually a setting uh, I need to tell you to switch over to. Not only are you on dynamic right now, I would also like you to try out automatic tactical sprint. Okay. Yep. An automatic tactical sprint, you're not going to have to focus on, you know, pressing down to run anymore. It will take you maybe three days to get used to. I know it took me three days to get used to, but I regret not doing it sooner just because it's such a breeze when you don't have to focus on hitting your left analog stick every single time to run. Mm -hmm. So all it does is I just gotta push forward. That's it. Push forward on your left analog stick, and uh, your gun is up in the air. You're full sprint. Okay. Um, and uh, last but not least, in the future, if uh, we do want to run another session, I'd highly recommend us doing a VOD review. VOD reviews. What that allows me to do is you record your gameplay, send it over to me. I'm able to digest it, and I will literally tell you, um, all right, you got this kill this way, here's four other ways you could have got the kill. And it's kind of a, a shortcut to experience. That's what I like to call it, is it's a shortcut to experience because I'm giving you a portfolio of things to do in those scenarios at those buildings. And, you know, obviously over time, you would have a portfolio for literally the entire map yeah yep all right well uh did you have any last questions um i guess do you recommend me running that mp5 or should i look into something else i should be running for like a like a short to medium long range i mean a short to medium range okay yeah awesome so definitely keep with that sniper you know you're able to hit those headshots and it's so satisfying um for your secondary, 100%. Keep using that ram uh, for those gunfights. Like, I would say right there, if we knew the circle was ending in those woods and those buildings, I'd highly recommend using the ram 7 um, and the car. Um, but obviously, it <laughs> it was too late. Um, you just had to pick up weapons. Yeah. Um, um, but using the Cold War Mac 10 and the Cold War MP5... They're looking like they're probably going to be the number one uh, subs to be used a uh, majority of the time. Um, All right. 
Yeah, I'll start leveling those up then. Awesome, perfect. And also, you know, since you're on dynamic aim response curve type, maybe try the FFAR again. Who knows? Maybe you'll uh, become a uh, god with it. Okay. Yeah, I'll try that out again. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, if you do have any more questions, you can always just contact me over Fiverr, and I will 100% reply. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Logan. It was a pleasure working with you, and I hope you have a great weekend. Yeah, you too.